And good morning. It's 8.30 Thursday morning, February 7th. It's my brother's birthday today. Happy birthday, John. Probably Happy birthday! Got to work today. Nice surprise. Chris Novak and I are heading to the slaughterhouse. What are we doing? We're about to cut up bull calf. He's uh, about three and he's almost three years old. We had to ship him in. We do not need the meat, but I got tired of feeding him. So we're going to the slaughterhouse. We're gonna go cut him up, get some nice steaks. We're gonna be eating steaks tonight. Maybe even a prime rib roast. All right, let's go to the slaughterhouse. Halfway to the joint right now. Had a few debacles this morning. Chris forgot an extension cord. Forgot money. The forgot pay the guy. money. We had to go to the ATM to get money. Thank my, God. my money. Thank God we got money bags over here to take out money. I'm broke. <laughs> and we got this. Look at these. This is country boy material right here. Look at these tractors. Who, who buys all this? We were just thinking. Look at the lineup of skid steers. Look at this. Right. Holy cow. Who Look at all that. Buys all that. Making our way into the slaughterhouse right now. Doesn't look like the nicest of entrances. Look at this. Where the Chris, where'd you take me? <laughs> if I didn't know better, I think he'd be bringing me out to a field to kill me. How'd you find this guy? <clears throat> Through the guy that we buy grass. Oh, look at this joint. <laughs> wow. Oh, where the hell are we? That's where they, that's where we back them into, drop them off, and they take care of them over there. Wow. It's pretty uh, old and ancient in there. I'm trying to just conspicuously get video on my phone. I'm getting a little bit of clips in here, but this place is, wow, we could use a little bit of an upgrade, but gets the job done. little water break. You guys want to see some hamburger? beef right here. Wow. Impressive. Short ribs right there. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Oh, there it is. Go ahead. Just lift it up. 1236. Just getting back in the truck right now. Wow. I have a totally different impression about how beef is cut up and beef is packaged and on a small scale, not like the big places, but well, that was awesome. I can't thank Chris enough for having me come along. A lot of fun. Frank helped out a ton. I'm a he pro. To, he got to see what it's like to slaughter and cut up your own meat. Beef hanging everywhere, pigs in there. Those guys cutting that stuff up, it was awesome. It was really cool, so that's it. What are you gonna eat tonight? 
two steaks. Chris gave me two steaks. Gonna grill those babies up tonight. A little sauce on that. Pumped up. Thanks, bro. Cheers. What are you worried about? There's thousands of dollars worth of meat right here. I ain't gonna go in there and sit down and eat dinner and leave this outside. By the time we come back out, it's gonna be all gone. We're up. We're stopping off for a quick sandwich. Chris doesn't want to leave the truck. Here we go. What'd you get? I was looking for some like tacos. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted all the enchiladas. Oh, man. Fail enchiladas. Yeah, how am I supposed to drive and eat this? <laughs> I just wanted a taco. <laughs> Mexican panini. Oh yeah. If you if you felt good about screwing me over, well, good for you. All right. <laughs> I want the best of the best. Who divided up the meat? I did. He did. He did. Yeah. But a few times I said, no, nope, that was fine. Open yeah. it up. Okay. No, like you got, this is Cindy and Joshua's. This is Josh's stash. Freezer. He's got enough meat in here. He don't even need this meat. Good food want? here. Good food. They don't even need it. <clears throat> yeah, we'll talk. I, I know what's right. You know, so I sirloin know. tips. <laughs> Short ribs. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous these are. If it takes me and you to pick up one of those, or I can't pick up those, honestly, out of all, I probably gave Brandon a couple more pieces. 